Good morning, guys. What's up, fam? Welcome back to the channel. So today, I am going to the grocery store to kind of load up for winter a little bit. Do a little uh, stock up, if you will. Mm -hmm. Because Donald and I are going to go and find a park. These next, we're going to, we have four or five parks planned. Yeah. If we get to a park that we like, we're just going to stay there and sit down for the winter because this virus and all its mutants and stuff like that. <laughs> so we're just going to get somewhere and sit down so that we'll be safe and set up for winter. Yeah. And so as we're out here getting food, Donald says to Peggy, <laughs> he says, now check this out, y'all. He says, oh, I hate going to the grocery store. He hates going to the grocery store, period. But he hates going hungry because it makes him buy more, which makes sense because it does make us do that. And I said, well, go get you something. Go, let's stop and get you some breakfast first, right? So he goes to the window and he orders food for who? Look at him, greedy self. So he gets something from him. And then I go, so I don't get to eat nothing? Like, come on, player, I don't get to eat nothing? You said get you something, you didn't say get us something. That was a... That was strike one. He got two more, and then he going into timeout. It's nine... He going, he going into timeout. It's 9.27 in the morning. I'm already at strike one. This is going to be a rough day, boy. I'm already at strike one. But... I'm, I'm going to do better. Now, we've been married for over 15 years. Yes, we have. He know he don't ever eat by himself. I do. Now, I should take his sandwich and take a big <laughs> bite out of it. <laughs> but I don't like Burger King. So. No. See, I was thinking about that. I was, I was thinking of her. She don't like Burger King. He didn't offer me a cup of coffee. Y'all know I love coffee. She do like coffee, but you don't like Burger King. He How you know? I don't know. They don't have good cameras. My bad. It's just my bad. What do you say when you when you screw up, guys? What, what can you say? I don't like Burger King, though, but I just thought it was odd that he couldn't even offer me a cup of coffee. But, you know, I think the commissary has coffee. Yes, they do. I don't know, because since COVID... That's right. They might not have the coffee station anymore. They might anymore. not have the coffee. They used to serve free cups of coffee at the entrance to the commissary. I don't think they do it now because of COVID. Mm -hmm. But anyway... He could have thought of me, y'all. Get on him. Get on his head. And see, and then I went to the grocery store the other day, and I got, because he wants cabbage, right? I'm mm -hmm. going to cook him some cabbage today. Mm -hmm. He wants cabbage and sausage. Yes. Now, I've been down for two or three days because my stomach, I must have ate something that didn't agree with me or something. But I was there. You know when your stomach hurts, you can't think about nothing else. Baby, let me tell you something. I thought I was paralyzed. I was hurt, hurt, hurt. Anyway. Bought the cabbage, bought the sausage. Got up this morning, I cut the sausage, put it in the thing, so when I get back, all I gotta do is cut up the sausage and cook for this man. See how I think about him? Even though I'm sick, I'm like, I know. When I she was sick, I went out and got her some probiotics. Uh, 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 don't bring her, that up. Don't got bring her that some up. No, 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 no. Don't bring that up. Don't bring that up. Because he's gonna win. I don't want him to win. So, I got up this morning. Mm -hmm. from my sick bed mm -hmm. and I cut up the cabbage mm -hmm. and I got the sausage out so it'll be nice and cool when we get home so I can cook him a pot of sausage and, and uh, southern fried cabbage and southern sausage because he likes that I, do, I that. do like I that I do that because I'm his wife I love him Couldn't you sound like such a me. saint right now boy I look <laughs> there's nothing I wouldn't do for this man Y'all see, see how he did? Uh, uh, no, uh, that uh, is uh, true. Uh, 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 uh. You see how, see how he did? You see how he did? Okay. But now when I was sick, I'm not going to lie. He was Googling things and he was taking good care of me. He really, really was. He even came and laid in the bed with me. And I thought that was so sweet because he's such a good husband. Well, thank you, baby. But he's selfish with his food. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, but don't touch my food. Look how he holding that sandwich. Like, don't even look like you're going to touch it. So I'm going to let him have his breakfast. And then 
I am going to start just roaming around the store. Now, we did start off with a list. Yes. We don't have much space in the truck because the other stuff is in the bed. No, I, I cleared off some bed space so we can get cases of water and stuff like that. We can get at least two cases of water and um, like 15 grocery bags in, in the, the back. In okay, the that was bed. Good. Yeah, because we're going to load up this time. I don't know where we're going to put all this stuff. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Peggy does a great job of shopping for what we need and everything, but I have a taste for something. And she'll say, hey, if you want something, make sure you let me know where I'm going to the grocery store, and I never do. Mm -hmm. But this time, I'm going to be contributing to the decision-making, and if I forgot something, then it's just my fault. But I'm going to be helpful. I'm going to be supportive. I'm going to be quiet. And we'll get in and get out of this grocery store. He, he only saying this because he didn't get me no bread. Like, not even offer me coffee. Okay, I ain't going to talk about it no more. I want to say, because right now we do have a two-month supply of food. Like, we could go two months without going to the grocery store if we had to. Because I have a feeling deep down in the pit of my heart that we're going to be boondocking. Mm. We're going to have to boondock. Yeah. And we're going to be boondocking in the winter. I mean, I think our RV holds 30 gallons of water. Yeah, 30 gallons of fresh water. 30 gallons of fresh water, so... Before we, you know, settle down, we'll take it and fill it up on post somewhere mm -hmm. and drive it to our spot where we're going to stay for the winter because we're, we have four stops left on our agenda. I'm going to tell you what, we might not make it to all four spaces because if we find a space that we really like, especially starting September, if we find a place that we like, we're just going to stay there. I wanted to stay in... Las Vegas, mm -hmm. but we could only book up until December. So we could go from September to De December 1st. Mm -hmm. And we could go on a waiting list, but you can't go on the waiting list until you're sitting there. Yeah. I don't want to do that. Yeah. We know Arizona has space for us. Don't know if we're going to like Arizona. Texas has space for us. Mm -hmm. Don't know if we're going to like Texas. Because Texas is a hot spot right now. Yeah. And I'm not trying to go there, but at the RV park on the military base. You're not going to run into many people. So that's our little saving grace, you know. So I don't know. Oh. Go ahead and eat your sandwich, honey. Go ahead. <laughs> it's okay. I'll, I'll make something when we get to the house. I'll probably just have a cup of coffee. Because that's probably what's wrong with my stomach. I've been drinking so much coffee. But yesterday... For the last couple days, I've been trying to drink. I know I can't drink a gallon of water. I'm not going to even lie. I, I can't drink a gallon of water. But I did a half gallon yesterday. So if I keep going, I might be able to do it. But this might not be the time to be trying to drink a bunch of water when we're trying to save it. So anyway, we need to get our hands on our generator as well. Just in case we boondock. Mm -hmm. So the, the generator that we have is very loud. Yeah. The one that we got for the home. So we're going to have to get a generator that's quiet because you have to turn your generators off if they're loud at quiet hours. You have to do it. It is what it is. I'm not so much worried about winter because I mean, okay, say we boondock, we just have to boondock. But we're gonna we're gonna look into it to make sure that we're gonna be fine as far as boondocking goes. Like we're gonna make sure we have everything, warmers and stuff like that. If we're if we're uh, at a military base where we have full hookups for the winter and stuff like that, we have heaters and all kind of things. And as long as we have electricity, we'll be fine. We don't have to run our propane at all. Exactly. So that will be good. Like our propane will only be used for like washing dishes and taking baths and stuff mm -hmm. like that. And we got two tanks because guess what? Remember we were telling you guys that the uh, propane tanks are $54 to start off. What, what is it called? The blue? Blue Rhino. The blue Rhino. But they swapped out the original tank that we had and gave us a blue Rhino. They were fine with it. So I wish we had knew that before. Mm -hmm. We could have just. But now we got three tanks. So now we have three tanks. And we're going to keep all three of them full at all times, just in case, you know, because 
what if the electricity goes out for a day or something like that? Like we have to keep that stuff in mind. But if we're on a military base and you know, you always gotta have that little extra savings work. You have to, you know, if something comes up, you might stay at a hotel or something like yeah. that. So we may have to go to a hotel. It is what it is. So we're gonna go in this store. I always say what I'm doing like four or five times. I don't know why I do that. <laughs> so we're gonna go inside this commissary. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna go inside and we'll just see you on the inside we will see you while donald is recording all right fam. are you done eating i am done this is the last film did, did he offer me anything i did earlier before the camera came on no he didn't no he didn't bad donald <laughs> all right Walmart after we went to the commissary we went to Walmart because we needed to get toilet paper right and we needed to get this Sam's water because Donald loves this Sam's water he loves the taste of it I say water is water but I've been drinking it for these last few days and I like it I like it a lot so anyway I'm gonna show you what we ended up buying at Walmart now we went in for two things, so let's get started. So y'all know I had to get my Viva cloth-like paper towels. If you have not tried it, give it a try. This is a selector size. You will not be disappointed in these paper towels. They're extra absorbent, and I got eight rolls, which are supposed to be three. They really not, but I promise you these are close to three and this was like $16. This was the only water they had. So they had the 15, 10 ounce 
waters. They only had these waters. They, for some reason, they didn't have any waters. So I was able to get a couple of them, the other ones over there. This toilet paper, right? We get this, the eight roll pack from Walmart, but you have to get it in the back in the camping section. So you get eight rolls for $5. So I got two, right? Now, we have used these in our toilet and they don't give us any trouble at all. So we're gonna continue to buy it unless it gives us a problem, but it didn't give us any problems. Now remember, we only went in there for two things, which was, I was supposed to, well, actually, I was supposed to go in and get my paper towels, my water, and these are the little uh, trash bags that we get. These are really good. You get 40 for like $5.57, it's some, some weird number. And so then, I think I lost my mind in there because I came out with way more than what I was supposed to get, but anyway. They had this decaf coffee that I love, and it's going to work good in my um, coffee cup, my single-serve coffee cup. Now, I got this for Donald. He loves pumpkin spice. This is his season. So, I got him the pumpkin spice creamer to go along with it. He doesn't drink as much coffee as I do, so that'll probably last him about a month. We got the chips, I think that, well, 42, and I think this was like $12. So this will last quite a while. And I got this 12 grain bread. Y'all know I love this bread. This was only like $3 when I make my uh, shrimp. You know, I make the shrimp like Popeyes, but mine tastes a little bit better. So stay tuned. If you want that recipe, let me know. Anyway, they had these. Clorox disinfectant wipes. They had those on sale for five dollars, and then I had to get my Diet Coke. Now I get these boil in the bags, right? It's four in here, so I got twelve. We don't eat that much rice, but when we do, we can share a bag of rice. So this will last us. Like I said, I'm buying this stuff to last me for the winter. So this, these little uh, four boxes will last us the winter. Plus, I brought a container of rice from the house but this is just quicker back on my BLTs again ladies all right then I love these little nacho sauce like if you go to the movie theater and you eat their nachos this is the cheese that they use well it tastes like it to me so anyway you get you some nacho chips and warm this up for 10 20 seconds heaven baby okay then I get my lemonade and I got Donald some stuff for the outside fridge when he's sitting outside. So I got him a couple orange juices. So he'll have that for the outside fridge. He won't have to come inside to get something to drink. And then, you know, I love my grapeseed oil. I can never get enough of this stuff. So Walmart has this big what is this, 51 fluid ounces for $7.97, so I always get that when I see it. Then we got some, you know, because I'm going to be making some, I'm going to try my best to make some, like, uh, orange chicken and stuff like that, So, because I bought all that chicken breast, and I got the teriyaki chicken, and when you eat this stuff, you have to have, listen, if you like spices, you will love this stuff i'm telling you i started eating it when we lived in germany and i can't stop it is so good now let me tell you something about this horseradish right here now it's good on a roast beef sandwich right but if you ever want to clear your sinuses get you some horse horseradish baby but i got extra hot because when i make my sandwich i'm going to put that on there you know i like hot and i'm getting this because i'm finding that when I buy uh, avocados, they're not lasting long. So, I, and I'm not going through the, I mean, I know you guys will probably tell me how to make them last long and stuff like that. I'm just not gonna go through it. So what I'm gonna do is just use this for my avocado toast in the morning. So I'll have this and a um, couple of pieces of bacon on my 12 grain bread. I need to share with you guys my 
baked bean recipe. I think it's a pretty good recipe. It's pretty inexpensive to make and it is delicious. I ran out because I only brought two cans with us. So I got four more cans so that'll last us through the winter. And then sometimes you just want some good old greens. And I'm not going to the store to try to pick greens or nothing like that. So these greens work well. I season them up really, really good and they taste just as good. They, they don't taste as fresh, but they taste just as good as regular greens. And all that ground beef I bought, this is for, this is the manwich, right? Donald loves a good manwich sandwich. And if I make a pot of manwich, then he could eat off of it for two or three days and I don't have to cook. And then, you know, gotta have the onions for everything. I always buy these for my closet to keep them in there. They smell so good. And they haven't been attracting many bugs out here. So I just get them for the closet so it won't start sm smelling stale because you know, on the RV, you kind of get moist air. And then you gotta get your clinging toilet bowl cleaner. I use this on our RV as well. And then I love this stuff. I just bought it for the first time last month. I fell in love with it, so I'm gonna always buy that. And then, let me tell you something about a good snack. So I get these pineapple chunks right here from Walmart, right? Pineapple chunks. So this big one, the 32 ounce was $6, okay? If you wanna get your life for real, for real, Sprinkle just a little bit of this. I think it's called tahini. Sprinkle that on your pineapples. Let me tell you something. My sweet Kathy, Kathy, I think you asked me about the stackable. I think this is what you were asking me about. These are my little utensils, the stackables, you know, uh, plastic spoons and stuff like that, ladle, all of that. I got this on Amazon. It was very reasonable. I want to say, I know it was under $15. I will include a link in the description. This right here, less than $25. It brews the absolute best coffee in the world. I'm telling you. Somebody asked me about that too. So there you go. All right. So let's put this away and then get over to what we got from the commissary. So I will be right back. Hey guys, I got stuck watching. Chicago PD. <laughs> so since we're at this RV park, they don't offer free cable. And I don't, I try not to, well, we can't because the signal is so bad right now. Like we could barely use our cell phones. Like right now it's hard to get Facebook. Like I can't keep up with Facebook or Instagram or anything like that because it says you're offline right now. But when you get back online, we'll post it or whatever else it's saying. But anyway, we don't have a good signal. It's weird. And like right now, I'm watching Chicago PD. This is one of my favorite, favorite shows. I like all the Chicago's. Chicago PD, Chicago Fire, Chicago Med. I watch those. So Ion plays those shows. So every day they pick one of my favorite shows. I don't know how they knew they were my favorite shows, but they did. So on Mondays, it's... Uh, the show with LL Cool J. It's the NCIS Los Angeles, right? And then on Tuesdays, it's Chicago Fire. Now, Chicago Fire is my least favorite of all of them, so I'm not current, but I watched it up to like season three or four, I think. Wednesdays is Blue Bloods. I watched that because of uh, the Wahlberg, Donnie Wahlberg. I really like him. Then on Thursdays, you get the Chicago PD, and on Fridays, I want to say they do, oh, what is that show? I think it's the NCIS Louisiana, uh, New Orleans, New Orleans. And so on Sunday, they do Criminal Minds all day. So that's what I'm watching all the time. Like, I'm glad that <laughs> we have the Ion channel because I can watch that. Now, the thing about that, the TV works good from Sunday to halfway of Thursday, right? Halfway of Thursday. From Thursday to Sunday, see the dots are starting to come in already. Can you see that? 
that's what happens. And I don't know what, it makes me so mad because I'll be in the middle of a really good episode and it starts doing the thingy and I don't like that. Anyway, let's get back <laughs> to this grocery haul. This is, this is all the stuff I got <laughs> from the commissary. It's a lot, I know. I'll find somewhere to put it, I promise you. So I'll start over here with the ragu because, you know, spaghetti and stuff like that. I might make muscacholi for the, actually that's why I got it, to make the muscacholi. If you guys have not tried the Velveeta skillets, these are delicious as well. The only thing I add to this is onions, bell peppers, and a little uh, garlic and uh, onion powder. It is so good. Donald loves it. He is a pasta guy, so he is going to love that. He got these little things. They had them on sale. Uh, I think these were like 72 cent. Donald always gets these. This is not the flavor that he normally gets, but this is all they had left. They're normally like $1.25, and he got them for 92 cents. And then he got these little cashews. These were $2 with the coupon. And then remember I showed you the cheese earlier, so this is what I'll use for that. Our refrigerator has been freezing our eggs. I don't know what's going on, but when we take the truck in on the 19th, I'm going to have them look at that because shouldn't I be freezing stuff at the bottom and we only have it on level two. Okay, so I got the eggs and these club crackers. These were $2 a box. I only got two boxes because we already have crackers, but these will be good with like tuna salad or chicken salad. I got lettuce. This is what I've been eating on my burgers. Instead of bread, I've been trying to use this lettuce. It's pretty good, so I try not to let it go bad so fast. And then I got my honey bunny some potatoes because he loves those morning potatoes that I make. And then again, I got these so that when I make like baked chicken or something like that, Donald loves a good mashed potato. He didn't like gravy with his potatoes, so I thought that was really weird, but he likes it, so hey. All right, and then we love this hard salami. We just eat it plain, piece of cheese. It's pretty good. If you ever, this is a good brand. So like that. And then I'm gonna do some red beans and rice and probably uh, some more cabbage for Donald. So I just got these. I like the turkey better than the rest of them. So I got two turkeys. We already have a Cajun in the refrigerator and Donald, he'll just eat that one. And then I got these breakfast sausage logs. They were $6, so I got two. I'll freeze one and we'll eat off the other, right? And then I got some, oh gee, I didn't know we paid that much for that. But this is a Cajun turkey. This is good for just little deli sandwiches or whatever. And then I got a good deal on this pork rib, right? $6.58. So by the time I cut the fat off of it and let it soak overnight, it'll be so good when we grill it. I always have to have these ramen noodles. Every time I go to the store, I buy a box because if things go bad, we can always boil a pot of water. I always keep hot dogs around just in case a little kid comes around, like if we're barbecuing and we meet friends and they have kids. We want to have something that they can eat too. This is going to be for the fettuccine I'm going to make for Don Juan. Mustard for my shrimp. And okay, so if you see Freedom's Choice, that is the off brand for the commissary. And I think this was like $1.50. And this was this ground sage. This was like 78 cent. And then this big can of black pepper was only like $2.35. All right, and so I love these soups too. These are so good. The uh, Slow Kettle by Campbell's. This creamy broccoli cheddar bisque. Oh, MG, this is so good. Like Donald and I fight over it. <laughs> Cause I'm like, is it any left? And he'll say no. And I'm like, I told you to get some, so I got three so I could share with him this time. But I got him, he loves the lo loaded baked potato soup. So I got him three cans of that. Just three 
cans of baked potato soup. I'm going to make a pulled pork in the oven. And when I make it, I'll show you guys. It's really, really good if you haven't tried this. And then this is what Donald likes to snack on. I just think that stuff is too sweet, so I, I can't eat it. I got my hot wing sauce. And I this bacon, baby, let me tell you, I love this bacon. This uh, 48 ounces, well, three pounds of bacon was $12.17. And then I got ground turkey so that I could make uh, nachos for myself. Now, look at this ground beef. See that? $4.75. Like, they were all under $5. This one is $5. Four forty-eight, four sixty-three. So I got, I got, I ended up getting five packs of the ground beef because we are always grilling. If if we're not grilling the ground beef, we are uh, putting it on the blackstone. So Donald likes to eat a good burger. I do too. I'm not gonna just say Donald, but uh, we both like them. And then uh, we got some bratwurst that we'll have on a cookout because it's too hot to really cook inside. So I got a bunch of foods and meats that we could cook outside on the grill. Now me, I like these little cheap steaks. Donald can't stand them, but I love them. $2.34. I'm just going to throw it on the grill. We probably will have these today. And then Donald got himself these. What are those? Strip loin steaks. So that's what he has. So I am going to try my best to put all of this in the little spot we have left. So this was from the Walmart run. <laughs> it's pretty packed. But I'm going to figure out something. If not, I'll just leave it out. It ain't going to hurt nothing. All right. So I'll be right back after I do it. I miss my Jordan so much. I was just talking to her, to Donald about her. All right, fam, so I, I worked it out. I worked it out as best I could. This is just how it's going to have to be for right now because we're stocking up on food. We don't even have that many plates and cups and bowls and stuff like that. So I put, last time you guys saw me put the seasonings and stuff up there. And so then I put... Ooh, let me turn this TV down before I get copyrighted telling you I love Chicago PD so I put my pastas up here and my soups so you can see where I put the Philly cheese steaks in the back and then that right there so and then we come here and you can see how I got everything kind of smashed in there pretty good I still have my containers in the back with my flour, sugar, water, rice, and beans. You can see those containers back there a little bit. And one of them has cereal in it as well. But these cabinets, they go back pretty far. Like, you see how far that one goes back? It goes back pretty far. So. All right. And then, listen. I did that. Now that's like arm length. You know, that's like arm length back. So I got the ramen noodles and the other pastas and stuff. I have them pushed all the way to the back. So, and I got it just as full as I could possibly get it. I'm glad that I was able to put everything away. So I think we did pretty good here. If you, I mean, we're gonna, we're still gonna have this stuff sitting out. There's nothing you could do about that. Until Donald starts eating these chips down and stuff like that, we're just gonna have it. And we don't have company or anything, so it's not gonna bother anything. But I probably could just take them all out the bag. I gotta, you know what? I have a bin at the bottom, so I'll just uh, take that bin out and put all the chips in there and that way we can get rid of that box and the only thing we'll have down there is 
the paper towels and our water okay so thank you guys for joining us today i feel confident in saying that we have a four and a half five month food supply so we should be good i will not buy food after september and we're just going to live off everything that i've bought so far so we're just going to have to do it <laughs> so because i don't want any of this to go to waste i have my other pantry full of food that we're going to go back and get probably in when we go back to missouri it probably won't be until like april or may and we're going to go in and close that storage out hopefully by then we'll have a permanent residence whether it be sticks and bricks or whether it be a fifth wheel i know for sure that we will know by february what we're going to do so stick around and i will when when i know you guys will know so fam thank you for joining me today we will see you in the next video my honey bunny is outside stocking his refrigerator hey what's up fam <laughs> the wind has died down a little bit i just want to take this opportunity to show you my refrigerator for y'all who don't know my refrigerator the refrigerator is on the outside located right here behind this door so let's check out what the don has when it's picking back up Okay, well there you have it. Got me some ginger ale, got some green tea, got some orange juice. If you see me out there, hey, ask for a ginger ale and I'm going to have one for you. You get one. Let me one per customer. But uh, yeah, this is, I, I like to sit outside every once in a while. I also got some like little lunchables, little snackables there. Just because I sit outside past lunchtime and, and Peggy's in the, in the uh, RV taking a nap or something. Don't want to disturb her. I'll just grab me a lunchable to hold me over till dinner or whatever else it is. So that's my refrigerator pretty nice but anyway guys thank you for joining us in this video we will see you in the next one god bless